Ordinarily, the road tests we conduct here at RPM TV fall into one of three categories. Either we attend a launch organized by the manufacturer, or the manufacturer drops off a car at RPM HQ and lets us get on with it. And then every now and again, when we get a car that's worthy of track time, we go out and do a few laps. But very, very rarely does a manufacturer organize a selection of cars for us to try and then book a track for us to try them on. As part of their Art of Performance Tour, Jaguar have done exactly that. While the tour itself is a chance for fans and customers to test drive a range of Jags on track, this morning they've lured us to Kyle Army Grand Prix Circuit with the promise of fresh coffee and three very tasty machines for us to try. First on our list is the latest addition to the Jaguar family and a car that we tested midway through 2016. The F-Pace S is fitted with a 3-litre supercharged V6 with 280 kilowatts, 416 newton meters. And I am not a fan of performance SUVs, so this car, on this track, I am skeptical. As a result, and possibly because the coffee hadn't quite kicked in at that point, we chose the F-Pace as the first car for the morning, on the assumption that being first and foremost an SUV, and the least sporty of all the cars we'd be driving, it would be the least demanding of the lot. I think that coffee is starting to kick in because I'm now remembering things about the F-Pace. First of all, as a technical package, it is quite sporty. Strong motor, lightweight construction, all-wheel drive. And the other thing is that when we tested it on the road in dynamic mode, it was actually quite capable. So this is not going to be as gentle a start to the day as I thought it might be. With its active damping that constantly adjusts the ride setup to suit the road conditions, the F-Pace feels surprisingly stable through quick corners and generally very well sorted on track for an SUV. As much as we like to say that million rand SUVs aren't likely to encounter dirt roads in their lifetime, they're even less likely to spend time on a racetrack. In the case of this particular F-Pace, that's a pity on both counts because it feels capable on both. And just as soon as we were getting into our stride in the big car, it was time to pit and swap for something a bit more suitable. Next up, another car we drove on its launch, although that test car was fitted with a rather humble diesel motor. The XES is fitted with a similar 3-litre supercharged V6 to the one in the F-Pace, and although it has 30 kilowatts less, the two cars do have a similar power-to-weight ratio. But the packaging of the XE should make it the more involving drive. As good as the F-Pace might be on track, the XE center of gravity is quite obviously a lot closer to the ground, which should make for better all-round handling. Kyle Army's brand new surface is a pretty good place to get a feel for what it can do. One of the highlights of the XE is the steering system. It is an electric type, which ordinarily at best feels horribly artificial, but in here it is very well sorted, quick and accurate with decent feel. So it turns out one of the things that could have been the weak link is actually one of the best things about this car. Almost as good as the smooth surge of power from the V6 motor. Or the rear wheel drive handling that can get a little lively if you wanted to, but otherwise delivers sure footed grip and a level of enjoyment that is easy to access. The XE was a good step up from the F-Pace, a decent middle ground before jumping into what would be the highlight of the day in a car that I'm not ashamed to admit is one of my current favorites. Since driving the F-Type in 2014, it's remained one of the cars that I'd be happy to spend my money on. I'd say it's hard-earned money, but I do this for a living, so... Be that as it may, the F-Type offers a great combination of looks, comfort, power, noise and real drivability. And now all of that has been distilled into the ultimate F-Type you can buy. The F-Type SVR is lighter and faster than any F-Type before it. The reworked aerodynamics include a flat underfloor and yes, that rear wing that flaps about depending on what speed you're doing. The whole package, depending on options, can weigh up to 50 kilograms less than the standard V8 F-Type. That's a whole half a person. The interior has had a makeover too. Gone are the plastic paddle shifters from the standard F-Type and in their place, proper aluminium ones. The dash, center console and steering wheel have all been wrapped in suede and the whole setup gets you into a driving mood as soon as your rear end hits the quilted leather seats.
all that is very nice, but the really interesting bits of this car have all been designed to make it go faster, all the way up to 322 kilometers an hour. The 5-litre supercharged V8 now puts out 427 kilowatts and 700 newton meters for a 0 to 100 time of just 3.7 seconds. But one of the best things about the SVR is the new exhaust system, which weighs 16 kilograms less. But I don't care about that. I care about this. A sound that was impossible to improve upon has in fact been improved upon, and so has the handling and the gearbox. The most obvious improvement that the SVR has over the regular F-Type is the steering, which is now incredibly sharp, responding instantly to even the tiniest inputs. The SVR has basically had each of its drive systems updated. The 7-speed auto gearbox has been recalibrated, the chassis packs new dampers and anti-roll bars, and to go with that, the torque vectoring has been reworked along with the adaptive dynamics. And while all of that might sound like a fairly dull shopping list of automotive bits and pieces, the result is astoundingly good. Unleashed around Kyle Army, the F-Type SVR gets up to impressive speed and at the same time delivers a brilliantly involving drive without ever feeling like it wants to kill you at the first opportunity. More reasons to love this car even more than I already do. We only had time to sample three of their models, but if you sign up online when the event hits your area, you'll get to experience a few more as well. As a showcase of a car maker's abilities go, the Jaguar Art of Performance Tour is a thoroughly worthwhile event. The F-Type SVR is the most powerful Jaguar you can buy. With 423 kilowatts and 700 newton meters, it's right at home at a place like Kyle Army, where it can show off its talents with ease. Its impressive power, noise, and grip are almost outdone by the steering, which is razor sharp and accurate. But with a 2 million rand plus price tag, it's reserved for the lucky few.